All Claire Mercer has are video clips and photos, cherished memories of her husband Jason. Two years on from his death, she's still campaigning to bring back the hard shoulder to all of our motorways. He shouldn't have been killed and me and my family shouldn't be in this position where we're having to fight for so much like this. We should be dealing with our loss and we've just never had that chance. Jason died on this stretch of the M1 near Sheffield, where the hard shoulder was replaced with a live running lane. He'd pulled over after a shunt with a van. CCTV shows a lorry approaching the van in lane one. Both drivers were killed when the lorry hit the stationary vehicles. Yesterday, Claire joined campaigners carrying coffins to Parliament to represent smart motorway deaths. Today, a committee of MPs urged the government to pause the motorway rollout for more research on safety. There could have been safety measures that were brought in that would give the safety reassurance, make things better. They've not been delivered. That's an absolute failure by national highways. And no wonder people are so concerned uh, with these smart motorways. The committee also said communication with motorists has been woeful. What many drivers don't know is there are three different kinds of smart motorway. All lane running like this, where the hard shoulder's gone for good. Dynamic, where the hard shoulder switches on and off depending on congestion levels. And controlled, where you can't use the hard shoulder, but traffic flow is regulated with variable speed limits. Confused? You're not alone. The government admits improvements could have been quicker and has promised more safety cameras and emergency refuge bays. For Claire, it's not enough. We're not giving up and going away until we get the hard shoulder back, so they may as well just either give us the hard shoulder back or settle in for a fight. As for that call to pause the rollout of smart motorways, the government says it will respond in due course. Peter Lane, 5 News, Sheffield.